Hey everybody, it's Shokin Hyde, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Hyde campaign, February 9th, 1942. Okay, we grabbed the dot base in Burma. Wow, <laughs> not even any subs right now. No sub attacks this turn, huh? Hmm. Not a lot, a lot of sub activity, but that's about it. Okay, so it looks like uh, my bombing raid that's going into here today is going to not meet any resistance. Yeah, I'm not messing around with these sweeps anymore. Okay, well, we'll go in unmolested. Unfortunately, the weather seems to be hurting the accuracy today. A little bit better. These are recon planes here. Yeah, that was not a great bombing raid today. Yes, lots of lots of sweeps. And another and another sweep. I, I'm not messing around. Okay, pretty quiet day. Okay, great. Just what I wanted. Severe storms over Palembang, which means my bombing raids are going to be useless today. <sighs> As you can see, I'm not messing around here either, but it's going to be kind of a waste. We're just going to take flak losses and no do no damage because the, we're, I'm kind of high and the weather is really bad. See? Watch. Two runway hits. It's worthless. Yeah, we're not even hitting anything. Meanwhile, he keeps building forts. 
Man, what a waste of a raid. That's not gonna keep up with the damage. Or with the engineers repairing the damage. Hey, at least we're not getting shot down, right? Alright. Well, I suspect that his uh, anti-aircraft guns are a bit disrupted after our last attack. So, we'll probably get about two days of un unmolested bombing before that before that's over. Well, that was pretty uneventful air phase. Let's see how the ground phase goes. It should be... Ooh, guys. Listen. There's a sub-sinking sound. That was a sub-sinking right there. Oh, come on. Let's hit this thing. This is a, this is a Mod 2 Type 95. We hit this. He's in shallow water. Alright, one hit on the swordfish. He gets away. We sink another sub, guys. That's good news. That's what I wanted to hear. Not sure. I'm guessing it's one that came out of Numea. Alright. Yeah, we should have no trouble blowing through this. Very much under strength here. Alright, let's just go ahead and run it. We should obliterate these guys. Yep. Yeah! Nice. Push these guys off into the countryside. Almost no losses on this shock attack as well. And huge losses to the unit right there. So this is really good attack. And now we're really well positioned for the next phase here. Whichever we want to do. Hmm. Yep, that worked out very good. Alright, I'm bombarding him now because I can, uh... I can taste the blood in the water. I think our artillery is going to be very effective against him. Eh, well, somewhat effective, I guess. Um, we're destroying squads, though, which is good. Uh, and now we know we're at, at 10 to 1, still. 318 AV. God, I bet you if I just shock attack this thing one more time, we would carry it. Okay, taking Sebolga. Cool. And Kalajati, we just arrived here. So he's down to two bases left on Java. And little Willis Wallace Island uh, near Pago Pago. Okay. Pretty quiet turn, but I'm fine with that. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. We'll start with the numbers, which should be pretty unexciting today. Uh, let's see. Four ops losses for me, two for him. He loses another Dornier and a PBY4, which I'm always glad to see those things die. And we lose miscellaneous other stuff. No big deal. No pilots killed today, which is great. We've lost enough. Ship sunk for this turn. The sea lion is reported sunk near Brisbane. That actually makes sense to me, guys. We heard a sub sinking, and now they're saying that a sub has sunk near Brisbane. 
I believe this to be a sub damage near Numea by our ASW efforts a few days ago, and it was probably transiting back towards Brisbane and didn't make it. So I actually believe that to be accurate. Now, it may not be the sea lion, but it's definitely something subby. So that, that that's good for me. Okay, cool. Let's go around the map. We'll start in the Pacific because we haven't looked around there lately. I want to see if anything's popped up that we need to be worried about. Other than Tonga Tapu stuff, which looks to be mostly ASW. Okay, that looks fine. Nothing out here. I think the uh, that light cruiser that was taking out my picket ships the other day has finally fallen back. We'll take a look at China right now. And we had a pretty decent... Uh, win in this hex which is nice uh, and now I notice these guys are moving this way I don't know if he's going to continue to do that or if he's going to turn around I wish he would I would love it for him to come across this hex here let me show you this it's a river so that means it's going to be a shock attack if he presses on with it and he'd have to break that hex side so it's a guaranteed shock attack and it would do a lot of damage to his troops so I don't know if that's his intent I wouldn't mind if it was, so we can, you know, degrade these guys even further, but I, I don't think he's that dumb. He'll probably call us off once he realizes that we're in this hex with this much force. We are slowly tightening the noose here, and my guys are about to go into this spot here, but I actually, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what to do with this, but he's trapped in on three sides and he really only has a crossroad to fall back to. If he were to combine these forces all here, it would take us a, a miracle to break through, honestly. So I don't know what his intentions are up here, but we have a good a attack vector in this direction. Okay, I'm just taking a look at the rest of these units. They're spreading out here. I'm guessing he's going to try to block this road, but quite honestly, it doesn't matter. Because we have some multiple supply pathways to keep and King uh, supplied. Right now I'm focusing on building up this airfield because the supply limit is what's really causing issues here. So I'm trying to get the airfield built up quickly to increase the supply limit to improve overall flow and distribution of supply to my troops out here. But this unit, as you can see, is having no issues keeping in supply. So that's another good thing for us. Looking a little further south, um, this unit, I'm not quite sure where it's going, but I think I might want to try to trap it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and send, I don't know, I'll send this whole division. If, if he'll stay there, we may be able to catch him and shock attack him and just blast it out. That would be awesome if we could. And that's basically where we're at in China. The main push is going to continue being in this region here and more of a holding action down here now because I don't think I'm going to be able to push and break through down here with the troops that I have. I've got the bulk of my forces up here, so I'm going to make my push up this way. In Burma, um, we did take this base here. There's something in my Mayik Tina which is excessive, and I don't think that my armor regiment has enough power to take it. So this might be as far as we're going to get. Uh, I have been doing quite a bit of recon up here lately. So what I'm seeing is Diamond Harbor has been reinforced. Calcutta has a lot of aircraft, a lot of fighters, but not a lot of ground troops. Uh, Lido is going to be very difficult to take as it stands. And he's got troops kind of operating in between Chittagong, which is a substantial force as well. Okay, it looks like a lot of his subs are now fleeing the area and are heading up the Malacca Strait. These guys were previously uh, located down here. So I'm going to move more ASW assets into the Strait of Malacca. Uh, with the intent of trying to kill a couple more of these guys before they get away. In the meantime, we are continuing to extract uh, fuel and oil out of Madon, and we're taking it over to Georgetown to unload it. I want to get as much of that out of there as I can. 
I still have these guys that are moving. They'll cross into this hex next turn. And in two turns, I intend to attack here and hopefully kill all the troops. I should have about 100 AV here versus his damaged 50 or so. And they're hurting. I'll just use a bombing rate to support it. Palambang, once again, we are not keeping up with the airfield damage at all because the bad weather and this and that, I just can't seem to get ahead. But looking at my troops, we're already back to 3148, so we're healing up very quickly. Part of the reason that this is happening better now is that we've resolved our supply issues by opening up this hex. This was, I wish I'd done this two weeks ago, guys. I'm stupid for not thinking of it. This hex side being open is, a, is allowing supply that it's in Osthaven to flow into Palambang. And when you have healthy units with supply and bases that can uh, supply reinforcements, your units can heal up faster. So this is actually really good for me. I'm glad that I opened that up. We're not going to have any supply constraints because I'm keeping a steady flow of these fast uh, transport task forces dropping off supply here, and it's just going to continue flowing up this way into Palambang. So let's take a look at the fatigue levels, which unfortunately are still very, very high. Uh, we're four turns away from being able to attack with these at least. Disruption is still high, so we're not ready to go yet, but we have plenty of strength here. And with reinforcements coming in, uh, these armored units, for example, are going to start taking... In fact, it looks like they already are taking reinforcements, so let me see. These guys are down a few vehicles, but they're already coming back up. These guys are down, but they're already taking reinforcements. Yeah, we're looking good here, guys. It's We're on the downhill slope with this Palambang thing. The biggest issue is I can't keep the forts down, and I need to work on that. All right, Java. So he's got two concentrations of forces. He's got some Tajilla Jap. And some, and quite a bit in Bandung, way more than I thought that it did. So I'm moving as many troops as I can in there right now. I'm gonna get these guys and have them move in to Bandung as well. I also have a regiment, a brigade, and an army HQ heading into Jilat Jap to take these guys out. And then we all concentrate in Bandung, trap these guys there, and that's the end of it. Probably going to go ahead and make a move on Parmakasan very soon. This unit seems very badly degraded. My guess is that he's been uh, pulling troops off of this place for a while. That's why there's hardly any left. So before he has a chance to get any more out, I'm going to go ahead and attack this place and kill off the rest so he can't have them. My forces in Terracan are just kind of hanging tight. We did get more supply into the Hex. I'm waiting for the uh, fatigue and disruption levels to come back down so we can try again. And I'm probably going to have to hit bombard it one more time to get this place. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do to take it. We're just going to have to have a, a, a good attack here to take this place down. Situation on Philippines is mostly unchanged. Still waiting for the 2nd and the 52nd divisions to get down to Baton Gas so I can get them moving on to the next location. Which I'm not going to say where yet. Okay. If we take a look down at the whole South Pacific situation. Uh, his subs are definitely out of the hex. I did manage to get a replenishment task force in here. So I'm going to disband that. And the reason that's important is I've got a lot of subs that are piled up here. So watch this. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go subs. And I'm going to go... Left click to refuel all these subs so I can get them back in the fight. And then, on top of that, I was able to extract the bulk of the 48th Division last turn out of Nadi safely. So we're undetected. He doesn't see where we're at. Uh, what I have left here is this 48th Division fragment, which has most of the support units, which I can just go back and extract in a safe, controlled manner with low risk. I was just worried about losing this entire division at sea if he had any kind of substantial naval force or carrier assets out here that could sprint in and get it. So I pulled out the bulk of the best part of the 48th division to relocate to Noumea. 
and then we'll eventually go back and pick out the rest of the stuff over time with smaller surface, uh, maybe fast transport task forces and do it that way. Yeah, and that's the turn. This one was pretty quiet, but I, that's fine. I'm in the process of reorganizing, getting things relocated, um, building up for another attack on Palambang, uh, just getting ready for the next phase, relocating Kido Butai. So I, I need time anyway. I guess it's not the end of the world that Palambang is taking as long as it is. Uh, one thing that it is helping me is I'm reducing his engineer level without, um, you know, really uh, risking taking the base right now with the fort he's sitting behind. So that's that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.